Okay, today we're going to look at the Envira Current Cost Energy Monitor. We're going to open the box. Uh, this is the instruction manual. And here we've got the, the screen, which has got an adjustable angle to the display. This is the power supply to the screen. This is the transmitter unit with a CT clamp, and this clamp will measure the magnetic field around the cable and it determines how much electricity is flowing through the cable, and it will then transmit a signal back to the screen unit. On the back is a Velcro pad, so the transmitter can be stuck onto a wall if need be. I've already enabled the batteries in this transmitter, so the LED light is flashing on the front. The transmitter has got an aerial to the side of it, which uh, improves the transmission distance between the area of the electricity meter and the screen. So I'll plug the screen into the mains supply. The screen is very low power consumption, only uses you know, three or four watts of electricity. Uh, so what we need to do is pair the transmitter to the screen. So the um, electricity usage from the transmitter gets sent to the screen unit. And to do that, we need to get something smart like a pin or a paper clip, which we will push into the small hole on the front of the transmitter. This is a, a multi-channel screen as well, so you can use individual appliance monitors to monitor things like fridges, and freezers or dishwashers, as well as the whole house electricity supply. So what we're doing here is we put a paper clip into the small hole in the front of the transmitter and hold it there for a few seconds. And then the LED on the front starts to flash quickly. And then you press the down button, or the right hand button on the screen unit, hold it down for two or three seconds, and then the screen changes like this. And it will um, say 240 volts on the screen, which is the standard voltage that the screen is set to by the manufacturer. That is adjustable if it's slightly lower or higher than your area. So and after about a minute, the display will change once the two are paired together. It will say zero watts on the screen. What we now need to do is go to the electricity supply coming into, the, this is a house in this instance, but these energy monitors can be used on an office or shop. So um, this is a CT clamp. We need to work out which is the live cable or the main live coming into the property. This is a, a single phase installation in a house, but you can have three phase installations or three incoming live cables on commercial properties. So here, this is the main fuse, and uh, the the red cable comes out of the main fuse and runs into the electric meter. So there's a live a red live and black neutral going into the electric meter and a black neutral and a red live cable coming out of the electric meter. And those then both run through a main isolation switch in this house. So the right hand side of that switch is the live side, the left is the neutral side. So uh, for the CT clamp will need to go on the live cable or the right hand side passing through the isolation switch in this case or the live cable coming out of the electric meter which is normally marked with a red uh, a red insulation tape or a red colored cable so you just ensure that the clamp is fully clamped over the cable and completely closed then position the transmitter unit so that will then immediately start to send a signal every few seconds to the screen. This house is currently using quite a lot of electricity at 3.12 kilowatts. So if that stayed constant, it would be using about 240 pounds a month. Obviously something is on in the house which is using a lot of electricity. So the electricity is, uh, reading has just dropped there. Uh, the, this 
that area down here shows how many kilowatt hours of electricity have been used over the last one day, or seven days, or last 30 days. And then once the screen has been plugged in for over 24 hours, it will show you how much electricity was used the previous day during the night, day, and evening. There is also a time on this energy monitor, which should be correctly set because you can download the data recorded by the screen into a computer and then you can establish your electricity usage habit, find out what times of day you use most electricity 